Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about intercultural marriages or relationships, whatever you want to call it. So if you know me, then you know my name is Shans. I was born and raised in Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Goma to be exact, because I love where I come from. And my name is Julian, and I was born right here in the United States of America, Washington, DC. American. What do you mean? It's kind of okay. Like what, DC, America? Yeah. Talk to us in January, then we'll be better. Why January? Oh, okay. <laughs> Took me a minute. Anyways, yeah. guys, so. We're slowing into it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're American now. You should know this. I'm not American. It was forced upon me. Yes. They literally forced yes. me, y'all. Yeah, they did. That's a different video. Yeah, that's did. a video. That's a different question. Like, it's a whole nother video. Anyways, so Move if forward. you're familiar with Kong, let me just explain something really quick. In a Congolese culture, <laughs> before you can be married to someone, you have to do a dot. If you're familiar with it, then you know. If you don't, now you know. A dot is a diary. Back home, they used to be goats, cows, you know, you name it. But here in the US, because I mean, nobody's buying a goat or a cow. I, I, would, I would buy goats. But... It's money. So Julian had to pay money to marry me. It was, um, actually, it was really funny telling him that the first time because he thought I was joking. And then he, he was like, <laughs> Like, what do you mean? So, he, so, I'm, so I'm buying you? Right! And I'm like, no! I, I'm scared to hire. No, you're not buying me. Really? Yeah, that's the price tag I can't afford. <laughs> oh, dang, that was kind of cute. You can't afford it. Seriously, come on. Yeah. Okay. You're filming. But, back to the proper lady that I am. But, there is... That's a good wink. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, Thanks, babe. <laughs> So there is like a, you know, there's a dose. Like, we're not going to say how much because, I mean, come on. But he had to have a diary. So I told him about it and he... <laughs> he reluctantly, reluctantly... Reluctantly. 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 Whatever. It's your accent. Reluctantly. He reluctantly, um, you know, agreed, whatever. We went and we met my mom and he had to be a dose. I love her mom. She loves amazing. him more than she loves me, and yes. I'm not even gonna lie. Perfect. That's, that's the way it should be. That's not how yes. it should be. She gave birth to me, not you. It doesn't matter. Nigga, you were little. Get... Ooh, look at me saying the N word. Bleep, bleep. I'm bleeping that out. But you. <laughs> should be. So, intercultural relationships. Let's just talk about. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the difficulties we have. Um, one. I'm gonna personally say this is um, language barrier. Come on, I well, don't. Yeah, we just went through. A right, of like so. I, I, I'm, English is not my first language. Oh, shock. Um, and Julian doesn't speak Swahili, so when we were out at the dot, everyone was speaking Swahili, French, Lingala, and he was just. And I was like, hey. Like him and my mom, y'all. My mom doesn't. It's my speak, favorite thing. Like my mom doesn't speak any fucking French. I mean English. So when Julian doesn't speak English, doesn't speak French, duh. So when they're talking, it's hilarious. Like hilarious. my mom be like, Julie, eat, you eat. And Julian's like, oh no, I just, I just had Chipotle. I just ate. This is where my mom is visiting. And she goes, good, good, you eat. And I'm, I'm watching like, should time, I help? <laughs> and he's like, I'm, that I'm full. Like I just ate. Literally just ate. And she's like, in the door. she's like, okay, okay, you eat. So then my mom Next places the food. I know this food. big, huge plate of food just comes in front of me. And I'm just like, okay, I, I, I can eat. But I he ate. Uh, but I mean, I one of the issues is obviously a language barrier. What would you say is another? Uh, I'm not sure. Culturally wise, as far as barriers, that's the biggest. Yeah. Because then that, that also goes into some of the communication. Right. Problems. Like Because in one language, things are meant this way and it's not insulting. But in English, the same thing you say is like, oh my God, why, 
and, and vice versa. What are you trying to say? Yeah, and I feel like sometimes that's, when we're communicating, we're always like, like we have, I think that's one of our biggest issues is communication. Biggest issues. Like, you tend to say things that annoy me. And I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I was very kidding. true. Yeah, like we, like Julian is very direct and so am I. But like, we're both very blunt. We both have really big personalities. But something blunt in French isn't blunt in English and vice versa. Like, I don't or know. Or something just, that isn't blunt in French is very blunt in English. Right. Or very insulting in English. Right. So like, that's and definitely one of our biggest. I think for me, the other one is, I would say it's kind of like the side eyes I get from people from my country. I, I know that maybe this is obviously people from your country don't care. I'm not even Yeah, I mean, that. you know, we're, we're, we're black here. So. Like, for me, it's like people are always kind of like, like, why? Like, why would you marry an American? Like, you know, and I'm like, first of all, he has a big heart. Down there. <laughs> Stop it. Your heart is right here. Yeah, lower. Right here. Lower. <laughs> you know, oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> no, no, you're not getting the joke. I meant lower. That's the heart. <laughs> <laughs> I, will not not, I will not deny or okay. agree with whatever he's saying, but he does have a <laughs> big heart, a really big heart. In addition to that, I have a big heart. No, you. <laughs> Stupid. Like, Whatever. We're just gonna, gonna speedball past this, so let's go ahead. Yeah, this is, this is, this is no, but I mean, you can't help who you love. If I could, I would. You, know, I, I would. <laughs> Blink twice if you think I would. <laughs> You know? I'll tell you what was a big part uh, uh, was, you know, speaking of, you know, saying who you, who you all love, I'll tell you what was a big issue that we had to get get through was the arranged marriages. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like, you know, Congolese people, we want to marry who we want to marry. So. But not just, it's, that's not just in your culture, though. There's a lot of Indian cultures. There's a lot yeah. of, you know, yeah. there's it's, a lot it's of big. African cultures. And not only that, think about it. If you're Congolese and you're watching this, you're probably thinking, of course, my mom would want me to marry a nice Congolese man. And the image we had of Americans was so wrong. Like, he's a gangster. Yeah, it's not that far off, some of them. I mean, yeah, some of some them are, are. Obviously, stereotypes come and go like that. You know, yeah. some of them, they come from somewhere. But obviously, ooh, what a thug. Look. Ooh. Ooh. You can take a thug out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of the thug. So, don't, don't let it twist don't, don't, get, don't get twisted. He's such a thug. <laughs> last time I checked. Anyways. The, last time I checked, the real gangsters wore suits. I don't know if y'all can hear that at the back. <laughs> it was like a baby, like, I'm sure, Dad. Sure. Now, Anyways, that was one of the biggest things that at least I did for me. But I think another cultural stuff is like, I mean, I, I tend to miss my stuff from home. But one thing that has been very helpful is that Julian is very adapting. 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 He adapts very easily. Like, he cooks Congolese food. He, like, he's, I love Congolese food. Like, yeah, he was very open to, I, to new ideas, to new things. And so was I, sort of. Like, for the most part, not really, kind of. Not really, you know, not really. but it's, he's, it's been a struggle, but it's, you know, it's, it's been, you know, a progressive struggle. Yeah, but I mean, I, I would say how it affects our dynamic is one, obviously the language barrier, but two, I would also say like, we kind of grew up very differently. Like very, we grew up extremely differently. Like I don't want to go into how we grew up, but the understand, like his understanding of things is not mine. Like one thing that we have, we, one thing that helped with that was that our core values are the same. Like, yeah, yeah, like our core values are, they're basically the same. We have different backgrounds, but we agree on like how we want to raise our children. So right. I think that's a big part of, th that could have been something that's like an issue because we, we grew up. So on, yeah, we agree, we grew up so differently, but we agree on things like that. How, how, right. how, we, how our marriage should be, how we love each other, right. our, our future goals, right. our children. Uh, believe it or not, religion. That's yeah. Something we never yeah. Had an issue with no, we like we kind of we grew up different. We really grew up in different religions. If like for yeah, yeah we grew up in so different religions, so to speak. We grew up in different cultures. We grew up in completely different lifestyles. But somehow we were able to like agree on the same standards, same values, and I think that's kind of what 
the biggest part of it is having that same understanding like okay this is how we would raise our children and julian is very direct so from the very beginning since we met he was very kind of clear like this is what i want like this is what i would like this is kind of what i'm expecting and i'm not necessarily shy about what the hell i want either the, the big issues is what you want to tackle is is and you know the little things can be that can be hashed out because those, those those you might have hashtags has just figured out okay. those can be figured out Oh. I was like, we're making hashtags now? Go ahead, sorry. Yeah. Anyways, so, it's, but the big core issues in uh, uh, in a relationship, especially when children are involved, are, are those things that are like, I mean, the end all, the ones that are the end all, obviously, you know, the, 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 your children's future, things about your children, finances, like religion, love, that, those are the big, huge things. Right, like, all values like what's right and wrong to you what's okay and what's not like all those things like i i'm glad you Discipline talked about right children, like, so that's, yes that's, that's a huge thing, you know? yes Just, that it i'm glad you said that because that's one thing we've always agreed on i don't know and we actually had to talk about it after we had eat because i'm like what what's okay and what's not do you want to spank do you not want to spank like obviously each family does what's best for them i uh, every now and again i'll i'll forget and and smack his little leg just to, just because he did something. He'd be like, and I'm like, ah, you want to kill my child? Right. <laughs> the littlest thing. <laughs> gasp. <laughs> I used to literally say gasp. Yeah. Yeah, but like, I, obviously, I'm against spanking, and yeah. Julian was spanked growing up. He was. I wouldn't spank. He got his ass <laughs> beat. <laughs> And his mom tells me I grew up in, grew up his in a mom, black in a black household. Right, his mom middle. goes his mom goes, I used I mean, to beat him. <laughs> I got them beatings that she made one of them beatings, like she made you go get the weapon to get beat with. And if the weapon wasn't deep enough, then you had to go get another one. I'm sorry, it's like, hilarious. Switches was was <laughs> but, the worst you thing know, you gotta like, go outside and pick your own switch to get booked with. It's like and you and, and it's messed up because you outside and you picking the switch and you testing on yourself to make sure it don't <laughs> hurt that much. So but then it hurts, so you try to throw that one away and you get one that don't hurt this less, and then it breaks in the middle of her beating you and she make you go get another one. Oh shit. You beat twice over. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's hilarious. Yeah, no, it's a typical Yeah, I get that. And but like being that he grew up that way, we had to talk about him and be like, what do you feel about spanking or beating and he obviously doesn't want to. So it was just a conversation we have to we have to certain circumstances. He thinks that when E gets older and torn, then they're gonna have to like box it out. That's what it is. I mean he's already a a huge boy. Just to establish male dominancy, I'm gonna have to knock him out one time. Just, just that's just, just, just prepare, just prepare yourself. Child for Protective it. Services is about to watch just this and call it. you. I will beat you and him. We you can call me in 16 him. years when they have. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> when he gets this about my height, not, he's gonna be taller. This gonna is be not six, nine. how he's I had this six, video planned to go. But I mean, you know, we're getting off. We're still. This it's, is not how I planned it to go. We're not talking about. I, I don't know. Still. But. <laughs> No, but seriously, like, when you kind of have established the big things, everything else is kind of, like, minuscule. And can be worked out. Like, we disagree with Oh, come on, I use a great things. word. I mean, yeah, okay. Anyways, we, we, we differ a lot on this smaller thing. Yeah, so there's like... There's a lot of things that we... Have, and, like, like, she has one way and I have another, and it's... No, we clash. We do. We clash again, a lot. when we clash on the smaller things that can be ironed out versus... A big thing that you've grown up with for thirty years, and you know what I'm saying? It's, right, and you can't. It's completely different. It's, you've been stuck in this mindset of doing this one thing for the this same way for your entire life, and then having to come change it. And right. like that's the thing too, especially like, changing in a way that you don't agree with. Right, changing so, someone in general. Like right. I'm not in the business of changing anything. But I mean, it's it's different versus you know someone saying, "Oh well, you know, I like to have my coffee in the morning," versus I don't drink coffee at all. Yes. So this. You know what? I'm okay, glad you brought no, 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 we're gonna go cover we're gonna go, we're gonna cover it. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> this has been like really heavy on my heart. So I'm just gonna let it out. Julian doesn't drink coffee. It's disgusting. I... And I can't live I can, without I can. I just don't. I can't live without at least like there's coffee in Three your blood, right? If I did, if I <laughs> sliced open your, your arm right now, like, I only out. do like three to like seven cups a day. Times three. 
and that's it because i'm not addicted i'm fine okay. guys i'm okay. totally fine but yeah he doesn't drink coffee like that was the deal breaker um but <laughs> <laughs> love conquers all so here we are um here we are as our children are steady screaming in the background. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Yeah, but he's up. They usually sleep until later, but well, today he up woke up. The twins are up too. But I'm glad we got to cover this little video. We'll have to do more, obviously. Um, this will have to be a to be continued because I just heard yeah. a bang on the door. Oh, okay. Well, I will probably not edit this at all. Great. So, thank it. you. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube video. Oh, and wow. Part two to be sorry. So I'm going to go, I guess, be a mother of parenting. <laughs>